Hey guys, this is Kai, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to change hair color. There's two different ways to do it, so I'm going to have to show, it, show you both. So the first way is, the first thing that you want to make sure when you want to change the hair color is that the head is not indexed. See up here, you can tell, it says right here at the top, it'll tell you if it's indexed and if it's indexed what that'll happen is it's not going to change color see like this I have this color selected but what it's going to do is it's going to pick C on the eyes it's only going to use like the colors that the head already has so um you don't want that <laughs> okay so what you want to do is you click image mode and then at the top you click RGB so now it's going to be able to change color okay so now you're going to click this button right here and you're going to select the darkest color in the hair and then you're going to click paint and that's it and you want to make sure that it's on fill whole selection so that it gets the entire thing because if you click similar colors then it's just gonna do a little patch only and then it'll take forever to just color it all so just click fill whole selection now you click the button again and you click um, the dark the next darkest color and then you go over here and you make sure that your color you click a little lighter on the color that you've picked over here and then you click paint again you basically do it until all the hair is colored the color that you want so it's really easy I love doing this way but doesn't work for all heads unfortunately so okay so that's how you do it this side's done see all done it was really easy to do literally just took a minute okay now I have to show you option two this one that won't work however when I press this and I click this color you see how it grabs the face as well you don't want that because it'll look like this yeah that's not good so with this one you're you're gonna have to do it um, you're gonna have to do it by uh, clicking your pencil tool and you're just gonna have to color it in yourself like this this is how I also do it as well there might be another easier way but I don't know this is how I do it this is the only way I know how to do it so yeah like I said this is gonna take a little while so you can fast forward this part if you want or just watch uh, whatever you want to do so yep Now I do my next shade. And you want to make sure that you do this for every angle. Like you do one head on the side, one head on the front, one head um, for the back so that um, you can copy and paste it. I'm going to show you how to copy and paste it so um, 
it'll make things a lot easier for you so you don't have to do this on all of the heads um, yeah I don't really think any GFX shows you how to do that so yeah no no GFX really shows you how to copy and paste it I don't know why they just don't but I'm going to I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I know it's probably boring watching this for a long time. Oh, brother. Almost done. See why I prefer the other one? <laughs> shade. I'm just going to do the front view because this is going to take way too long. Literally way too long to have to do it. But believe it or not, this is still faster than paint.net at least from what I from what I know. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do when the hair is all done is you're gonna click this um, rectangle right here and you're gonna move it like that and then you're going to make the box bigger by the side right here you see this little thing that popped up you just click it and you drag until it covers the whole thing and you're going to do that for all the sides just like that so the whole thing is covered in the box then you're going to right click you're going to go to edit and then copy you see how it popped up right here down here that's what you copied okay and then you're going to click outside of the box like that so the box goes away. You have to do that or otherwise it'll just paste right here and that'll be very annoying for you. Okay now scroll down to the next one that's pointing in the front. This one's upside down so you're gonna have to move you're gonna have to move it. So I'll show you how. You go to edit, well you right click, you go to edit and then paste. There it is. And now you right click again, you go to layer, transform, and then you're going to click the second one right here. Just like that. And then sometimes, um, depending on the head, this one doesn't need it, but I'll show you anyway so you know. Sometimes, after you point it this way, you're still going to have to... Um, click the first one to make it flip like that because some people they they do that so yeah just letting you know and then you click outside of the head like that and the lines go away that means it's there now um, but make sure that the lines go away and you do the same for all the other ones paste drag it a little pixel. Oh, okay. Because there's an extra because there's an extra um pixel right here, I'm gonna show you how to cut it, but I'll do that once um once I'm I'm done pasting all the other ones. I'll show you how to cut them too so you don't have to use the eraser. I never use the eraser. It sucks. I don't know why they made it like that, but I mean in my opinion, it just doesn't work for me. Okay. 
Okay, that's all of them. Now, what you're going to want to do is click this button, just like that, and you click the color that, like the thing that you want to erase. Now make sure that you use a color that is not used on the head already, so that it doesn't ruin the head. And then you want to right click it, go to edit, cut. Oh wait, what did I do? Oops. Right click, edit, cut. There you go. All done. Is all done. And the whole front view is done. See? Now I'm also going to show you how to add tint. Um, because they don't, they don't really show that to you either. Um, it's super easy. So, you click your pencil, and you have your size, that's the size of the brush, see, see how it got bigger? <laughs> and then, um, this right here, this is where you can add your tint. A lot of people, they use this for hats when they want to make a, a see-through visor with a very light tinted color. Well, this is what they use. Now, the lower the, the lower the number, the less you see the color. See? Like right there, you can barely even see that. See? Like, the less you see it. But if you increase the, the number, you see it more, see? Like that. So, to add it for hair, um, you just, let's increase the number a little. You just pick your color and then, you know, start at whatever number you would want. And then you just shade in that color, like that. And, um, it already, it's already shaded for you, like, so you don't have to constantly be changing the color for these. Um, and then you just go a little brighter or whatever you want to do and this is a bad color because you can barely see it I'm sorry but you get the point I think you just you can make it brighter and This is how this is how you can add another color to your hair without it looking like unrealistic. Like it just like see how it's shaded and everything. Well, if you if you add it just adding it without the tint, it'll look like this. Hold on. So if you keep that at a hundred and you just add it like this, this is. I've seen some people do it like this. I guess you can do it this way, but I actually like the tint better because I think it it just gives it more shading and it looks better. But everyone's different. So, but if you do it like this, this is how it would look. So uh, I prefer the tinting, but you can do whatever you want, you know, you can do this way or you can do another way, like that, whatever, whatever you like, whichever way you prefer. I prefer this way because it just has more shading and stuff like that. Well. That's the end of my video, so 
thank you for watching and I hope that I answered all your questions. If I did not, you can leave a comment below or you can um, you can message my email kaigrowl at gmail.com and I will do my best to to uh, answer your questions. So thank you. Bye.